Hello everybody, welcome back to another preview for Oxford United versus Portsmouth. Before we carry on, some great news this evening. Fans will be attending back to stadiums on 17th of May. 10,000 fans attending into the stadium. Now, let's all listen to Oxford United fan Sam. Yes, people, I'm Sam, a.k.a. Soccer Sam, and today I've came on um, Billy's channel, BPFC Vlogs. Now, I'm going to do a little preview of Oxford United versus Portsmouth, um, United versus Pompey. Come on, you yellows. I'm an Oxford United fan, so obviously he's asked me to come on. And, yeah, coming into this game, Oxford United fans, I don't think are going to be very comfortable watching this game. It's going to be very... I think it'll be a very scrappy game. Uh, I think Oxford could get a win. Pompey could get a win as well. But realistically, are Oxford going to get the win? I don't think so. So I'm going to go for a, a 2-1 win to Portsmouth. And I don't know what's going to happen. Um, both sort of the same run of form. But I'm, I'm going to keep the short and simple because I can't. And yeah, thanks for having me on. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. He's gone for a 2-1 Portsmouth. Come on, you blues. Thank you very much. So, let's start it off with Oxford United. Now, Oxford United, having a terrible start to the league, they are now 8th in League 1 with 44 points. And they're 3 points off the playoffs. Now, they were in the relegation zone. With like a few games um, into the season. Now they are doing absolutely remarkable. 13 wins, 5 draws, 9 losts. And I see Oxford getting the playoffs, you know. I really do. The way they're playing at the moment. They've got... They've grabbed 7 points out of the last 5 games. With a 2-0 win to Bristol Rovers. A 2-1 win to Wigan. And they got a good point to Ipswich Town. Two loss to Tranmere Rovers, a 2 0 loss, and a 3 2 loss to Doncaster Rovers. Now, Oxford United, astonishing team. They have some quality players, and it was upset. It was unlucky for them not to go up last season um, in the playoff final against Wickham who went up to the championship Wickham not doing very well they are definitely coming straight back down to League One so I reckon Oxford United will finish in the playoffs this season I really really do they deserve to be in the playoffs like right now the way they're playing just absolutely astonishing football Portsmouth's last five matches they have Grabbed a 3-1 win to Charlton, a 2 0 win to Swindon, one point to Plymouth Argyle to a draw, two losses, a 3-1 loss to Bristol Rovers, and a 1-0 loss to Blackpool at Fratton Park. Two of those games we should have won. Two very small teams and small clubs, they've come up. They've came out with three points and they probably deserve to. So Portsmouth, fifth in League One with 48 points, 14 wins, six draws and eight losses. We need to improve if we want to go up to the championship. It needs to happen this season because we are <laughs> seven points off Peterborough. In second. So we need to start grabbing the three points. With our next big games coming up. Tuesday the 9th of March. We have Sunderland. On the Tuesday night on Sky Sports. Which I am very nervous for. Because Sunderland. Sixth in League One. With 47 points. One point. <sighs> below us like anything could happen 
there's still a long way to go in this season but let's move on to head to head Oxford United have won five six draws and Portsmouth have won five last meeting November 24th 2020 a 1-1 draw at Fratton Park we're not going to talk about the playoffs because it was a horrible thing to watch so we'll just move on from that so whatever happens tomorrow night we just need we need to grab the three points Oxford are a brilliant side deserve to be in the playoffs right now to be honest i they really should be in the playoffs. Right, we'll move on <clears throat> to my predicted lineup. Now, I've fought hard and hard on my lineup. So, obviously, in goal, Craig McGilvery. Left back, Charlie Daniels. Centre back, Nicolaison and Jack Watmore. Right back, Callum Johnson, left back, I mean left mid, sorry, Ronan Curtis, centre mid, on go, Tom Naylor, and George Byers, right mid, obviously Mark Harness, up top, Hawilla, and Williams. So, that's my predicted lineup and if he doesn't start who will are I'm gonna be so upset for him because he wants game time coming from a good team Coventry City scoring 17 goals for them and he deserves to get game time so final thing to end up the preview my score prediction and I'm gonna go for I'm going positive. I really am. A 3-0 Pompey. Oh, God. 3-0 Pompey to score. I'm going to go Hawilla for two. And Marcus Harness. So, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit the bell. Hit that... Smash that like button to get 10. Actually, no, we'll go for 20 likes on this video. Thank you very much to Sam for coming on to the channel today. Thank you, really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's it from me to Matt today. See you in the next one for my match day reaction. Play up, Pompey.